Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Brad Tragic video and I'm trying to find another area to put this, but it's pretty much the best area I could find. Here, let me kind of scoot back a little bit. There we go. Um, so, kind of an odd video. Uh, you can see me pretty clearly, I can see in the video. So, I'll leave this a little better than holding it in my hand the entire time and shaking like a rabid lunatic, uh, waiting for the kind of the air to warm up in the car. So, um, a lot of things going on, but I did want to talk about a little bit about something that is near and dear to my heart. And to me, it's a thing about music. And I want to talk about music today because to me, music is not just a song. It's not just an album. It's something to get us in a better mood sometimes. Something that I guess not to be bleak or anything, but kind of makes us want to live our life. To me, I mean, if you had no music at all, just imagine a world where somebody would come up to you and say, have you ever heard this one song? And you say, what's a song? It would be a horrible world. It seriously would be. If you did not know what music was, I just think that would be a bad world to live in. Um, I couldn't imagine not knowing what music was um, or not even having any music or being banned and not being able to listen to music um, and I can see down the road that you know it, it, it would be more of a government controlled thing who knows what the future is going to hold but, I mean if you read all these you know sci-fi things and things like that you know where you know you're, you cannot think anymore and things like that like the sci-fi uh, sh uh, movies you would watch like I know a good example is I don't think there's uh, singers and stuff in, in that movie. It's the one with Christian Bale, uh, Equilibrium. I don't think that there's anything like that. There may be. I know in time, in time, a great Justin Timberlake sci-fi, where you basically pay in time, um, I, I think there's musicians in that. And, and that's more of an interesting take on... Um, on stuff that I think is is more inept to happen than something like equilibrium, which both technically could happen. I think. I mean, if somebody, uh, I don't know, we'll get into a whole new bar, ball game, another conversation. We'll, we'll we'll bring that up one other day and talk about this. But let's talk about music today. So, I want people to put down below anybody that watches this video. What makes you love music? What makes you turn on your CD player? What makes you want to listen to your favorite artist. I don't really care what your favorite artist is. You can put them down below, but you know, what is an artist that truly like gets you moving? Like I'm not even like meaning like head banging and stuff like that or whatever. Uh, a musician, a singer that truly like when you listen to them, it makes you feel so much better inside. Um, I know one of mine and people will probably laugh and giggle and say, that I'm a Satanist and all this other stuff, but back in the day, it used to be Marilyn Manson. Um, I know Zach Wilde kind of played a part as well in you know, listening to his slower stuff from Pride and Glory. If you've never heard any of that stuff, oh my God, it's so amazing, so beautiful. Uh, when I say a song is beautiful, it literally, it's when you hear the song, you listen to it, and you immediately want to tell people about this song that you heard it's a song like that and you want people to hear it and you want people to love it um, but of course some people just don't like Zach Wilde so I mean that's probably why he's not like super mainstream and everything like these other vocalists uh, that are out there um, but what brought this up to me is that Jonathan Davis has uh, I think he he's not going solo but he, he has a solo CD uh, coming out or is out one of the two um, and I heard it. I can't remember what it's called. I think I, I think it's it it is it's it is like this or something like this. It is like this. I, I think it's like I think that's what the song is. I, it's something like that. Something to that effect. But it made me think of wow. Here's a guy who people pretty much have disowned. Even the people who started w listening to Corn and. And the reason why they're a household name today, stop listening to Corn pretty much. They've lost almost all their fan base. And they basically have to restart over. Trying to, you know, 
make a big sound and let people want to come back. Um, I think Fred Durst, I think, may have had something to do with that. But, I mean, Jonathan Davis and Corn, they're their own people. I'm sure they, they're responsible for it as well. But they kind of went in a different direction than what they did. Corn and Limp Bizkit are in the exact same situation, except Corn didn't stray as far as Fred Durst did. Fred Durst just went all out. Limp Bizkit went all out, and they just went mainstream to the hardcore. But Corn, they kind of always stayed under the radar of the, of the mainstream, but they kind of just dipped their foot in the pool you know, a little bit. Um, so it kind of made me want to talk about music today because I can't imagine a world without music. But of all the different artists that are out there, uh, you think about Jonathan Davis going solo. It's not something I immediately think about like, oh, wow. And it wasn't a bad song. It's not a bad song at all. But it, it got me to thinking, you know, like, what are some other artists that you would be shocked to see, you know, go out on their own? I, I think one would be the Deftone singer. And I think that he had, I think Team Sleep is pretty much him by himself, I'm thinking. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, but I mean, I think, I think Chino, is, I think it's Chino from Deftones. He's an amazing singer, amazing vocalist. Um, there's so many vocalists out there uh, in bands. I know Corey Taylor, without a doubt, like he could do solo stuff and would be amazing. I know he does solo shows every once in a while, I think. Uh, or he does it before some band that he plays with. I'm not sure. I have no idea. But I've seen like shows like him on YouTube where he's just playing acoustic guitar. So I'm assuming he does do shows solo sometimes. He just doesn't do it, you know, all over the world yet. But I'm assuming at some point Corey Taylor will go solo after he's done with Slipknot and everything like that. He's going to be Corey Taylor is going to be one of those people that we look back on, and people are going to be shocked by where he came from. I think you know, ten years from now, when Corey Taylor is you know on you know the Tonight Show and all this other stuff, um, and they're saying. Uh, you know, what they call it, Grammy Award winning vocalist Corey Taylor. They're going to be saying this crap like 10 years from now. And people aren't even going to know who Slipknot is. They're going to know who Corey Taylor is. And that's the way the music world works, you know. Sometimes people get starts in different bands. Look at Rod Stewart. A lot of people don't know he was in a hard rock band. And I, when I found that out, and I, and I, heard, I actually heard the band before I knew he was in it. And then I heard that he was in the band. I'm like, well, I heard that band before. It was pretty good. And they're kind of rockish. They're kind of got some gloom to them. And they're a really pretty good band. I think it's called Face Faces. Oh, my God, dude. Like, that's Rod Stewart. And I'm thinking I heard that it had something to do with his hearing going bad. Because uh, he has bad hearing now. And I think that's kind of why he got out of that kind of genre. Because I think he kind of blew his hearing out when he was with that band. I, I could be wrong. Could just be, could just be telling stories. But I'm pretty sure I heard something like that. But then again, you know, this is, this is why I like music, though. Right now is the biggest time in in any time that you can go on the internet and you can listen to tons of music. Everybody's got a band. Like it, it's literally insane how many people have a band. Um, but I have to end this video soon. But but like I said, go out there. And this is what I want people to do. I want people to you know comment down below. You know what makes you listen to music? What music really kind of moves you? and makes you kind of want to go on with your life because I know that's what music does for me I want to listen to music because I want to make I want to make my life pleasurable and that's what makes me pleasurable is listening to good music and I like to talk about it and that's why I made this YouTube channel is to, to talk about music talk about movies things that make me happy make me want to continue living my life I know that sounds very morbid but it's true I think a lot of people are like that too if we didn't have movies or music I think we'd go crazy even though we have, we have our families and friends yeah yeah yada 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 whatever you know what I'm saying. Anyways, but I also want you guys to go out and find the band. Maybe maybe you like Pink. Maybe you like, uh, uh, what's it called? 